Yep. We got some good news, and we got some PS5 bad news. We actually have quite a few news items for this video. Let's talk about it. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up man destroy that like button and we're having we're coming close to the end of the month our monthly giveaway $60 digital code for Xbox PlayStation or Nintendo switch subscribe to the channel follow me on Twitter to get in the giveaway let's talk about this news you want the good news or the bad news first? The sort of bad news. All right. It's been announced that the Order 1886 game developer, Ready at Dawn, has been acquired by Facebook, which is a blow to the PS5. Now, this, I'm going to tell you why it's a blow, but... Why Sony's still going to be good. But um, this game was steeped in controversy. Um, many hailed it as a great game, Order 1886. Some were complaining. I think that it was um, too short. But um, whatever you could say, you can't argue that Ready at Dawn was a great studio. And many were expecting that since they had an exclusive for the PlayStation 4, Sony would later acquire them and they will make another exclusive for the PlayStation 5. Um, the Order 1886, even though Ready at Dawn has been acquired, Sony still owns the game, Order 1886, and so we could possibly still get an exclusive. We'll have to see, but you can't argue that uh, it is a blow that Facebook, of all people, have picked up um, Ready at Dawn to make uh, VR games, bro. Weird. But <clears throat> um, we'll have to see what comes of it. This is why I say it's not that much of a blow for Sony. I think Sony picked up one of the best studios for next gen. And that is Insomniac Games. They have Spider-Man locked in as an exclusive for PS5. Ratchet and Clank. Well, Ratchet and Clank was always a PlayStation exclusive, but the fact that Insomniac Games, um, they're the developers for this game, and they are now a Sony first-party studio, it means um, that um, games like this will only be on the PlayStation 5. So it is a slight blow that uh, the studio has been acquired by um, Facebook, um, so no Ready at Dawn games, um, they, I don't know if they're going to make exclusive games to the Facebook platform or, because uh, sometimes like Microsoft, they buy out studios, uh, Mojang, and they still allow Minecraft on all platforms, so we'll have to wait and see, but <clears throat> speaking of uh, Marvel, bro, some pretty good news this is good news see i have bad news i have good news and we have some more news after this too marvel avengers they've made a pretty dope announcement for playstation 5 and xbox series x the game launches early september uh, i believe september 4th to be exact and if you buy the game on the playstation 4 you're going to get a free P playstation 5 upgrade which i think is pretty pretty dope the game will be taking advantage of the power of the playstation 5 and um they the studio did announce um uh crystal dynamics um square enix they did announce that <laughs> this this trailer still says may <coughs> it's been pushed back to september um that some pretty dope um things with the game they're gonna offer a performance and graphics mode which i'm sort of get annoyed with that mode 
just have performance and graphics, bro. But the offering is pretty good. The game um, will be able to run 60 frames per second, <coughs> 4K dynamic scaling, which will more than likely be the mode that I play on. But you could adjust it maybe for lower resolution, higher frame rates. 60 frames. As long as you give me 60 frames, I'm good, bro. 60 frames at 4K, that would be perfect. This is my most anticipated game for 2020. This game just looks dope, bro. It just looks dope. Man, 2020, I've said this before, 2020 has turned out to be not an average, but a pretty amazing year for gaming. Last of Us 2 just dropped. Easily Game of Year contender. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh my goodness. The Ghost of Tsushima is the game that got me back to realize how lit Sony's first party studios were. Ghost of Tsushima drops next month. That game looks amazing. We have um, the um, Marvel Avengers game coming out in September. This game looks amazing. Um, we have two dope consoles coming out in the fall. So 2020 has been a fantastic fantastic year for gaming spite of all the crazy stuff that's been happening in the world speaking of crazy stuff happening in the world yesterday i did do a video on mixer shutting down they're going to be shutting down their services in july but i didn't talk about probably the real reason why sort of sort of the needle that broke the the camel's back that's how it goes it was being reported on Twitter that the management of Mixer, uh, a manager in particular, <coughs> was um, um, sending racial, um, I don't want to say presentations, but messages to co-workers. And a black co-worker in particular, he was offended by some of the things that manager was saying and perpetuating throughout uh, the Mixer team. And nobody was really checking this person. Uh, specifically, a female manager was saying, uh, was given an, an, a slave example of content creators from Mixer, pretty much saying that uh, Mixer is the slave master to content creators and they control their lives, their revenue and all that. And the black dude was offended by the slavery example. He reported to higher ups. It got so big that Phil Spencer himself responded on Twitter. All that controversy was going on behind the scenes. And then lo and behold, Mixer is being sold. I really think, of course, Mixer was struggling with viewership. And I think this was just, this just pushed it over the edge. That Microsoft probably didn't want it. It was going to be a big PR fallout. It was about to explode, bro. And so they're like, nah, we're not even going to deal with that. Mixer, y'all done, bro. <laughs> and so, uh, Facebook Gaming, uh, Facebook Gaming, Microsoft has partnered with Facebook Gaming to do their gaming. So expect the Xbox Series X to have some kind of Facebook integration next gen. And the last news item for this video, which is trash. Min Min was announced trash. We wanted Twin Tail. <laughs> That's it. Min Min was announced for Super Smash Brothers yesterday. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, Subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member.